The movie begins with Durotan, a chieftain of the Frostwolf clan, and his pregnant wife Draka, laying down while discussing the name of their future son. Then, Durotan is seen meeting other orc clans. They all have been summoned by Gul'dan, who is also an orc leader. He is checking preparations for battle while accompanied by a female half-orc, Garona, who acts as his translator to other races. A caged prisoner tells Garona to spare her child, but Gul'dan refuses, saying the fuel for my magic is life, as he intends to drain all lives out of the prisoner's bodies to fuel his green death magic called the Fell. He aims to provide enough magic to build a portal connecting his world to another world called Azeroth in order to conquer it, but at the moment he only has enough prisoners to fuel magic to send a warband consisting of strongest orc warriors. Their immediate purpose is to collect more prisoners from Azeroth to give supply to bigger magic to open the portal permanently. Durotan, his wife, his second-in-command Orgrim, and his clan enter the portal. Draka feels pain after passing through the portal and gives birth by the aid of Gul'dan, despite other orcs' objections. The baby is dying, but Gul'dan drains the life of a nearby deer and uses his fell magic to revive the baby, announcing him to the warband as their newest addition of warrior. In Azeroth, we see Anduin Lothar, one of the king's most trusted warriors, inspecting dwarfs' works in Ironforge. He observes a newly invented mechanical gun called a boomstick. Before he thoroughly inspects it, a messenger delivers a letter, saying one of his garrisons has been attacked and he is needed by the king's castle immediately. He goes to Stormwind, meets a prisoner named Khadgar who fails to cast a spell to attack him. Lothar notices a strange mark on Khadgar's arm, called Kirin Tor Mark. Khadgar explains he used to be a guardian novitiate, who has a sacred duty to protect the realm from any danger, but renounced his vow. He asks to examine the body of the slain soldiers because it may contain the secret to the attacks. He is surprised when a faded green light pops out from one of the bodies, and recommends summoning the Guardian himself. Lothar warns that the Guardian is only summoned by the King, Lane Rin, so they ride to his castle. There, Lothar also meets with his sister, who is also the King's wife, Lady Teria Rin, and his son, Callan. King Lane agrees to call the Guardian a message to Medivh. In Karatsan, a stronghold protected by white magic of the Guardian, they are greeted by Moros. He says the Guardian is happy to see Lothar and walks him to the Guardian on the top of the tower while Khadgar takes a look around the Guardian's library. He notices a mysterious figure appearing nearby him but disappears into the bookshelf. While searching for it, his Kirin Tor mark glows brightly upon a particular book, which he takes. But, the Guardian suddenly catches and attacks him until he mentions about the Fell, a magic that feeds on life itself. Medivh then trans- some kind of beasts. Lothar tells them that they need prisoners to dig more information, even Kor would tell them something, but King Lane responds that they do not know the danger they are in. Lothar, Medivh, Khadgar, and a small team of soldiers go to Elwyn Forest to scout possible tracks of enemies. They find traces of fell magic as green glows on the trees. Then, they are ambushed by the orc clan led by Durotan, with casualties on both sides. Lothar informs that the orcs are much stronger so do not try to outpower them, but use smart moves instead. He manages to cut the hand of Blackhand, the warchief orc. Khadgar uses his magical ability to help defend himself and Medivh, while Medivh summons his even bigger magic to drain the fell magic out of the orcs. The Frostwolf orcs, including Durotan and Orgrim, do not have traces of fell magic in them, so they can escape. The humans meet Garona, who also speaks human language, and hold her captive, and learn from her that orcs are planning to take on their world and need prisoners to feed the fell magic. She says that they come through a great green gate powered by the fell. In the orc camp, Black Hand is judged before Gul'dan because escaping battles is not considered honorable for orcs, but Durotan interrupts. He explains that the enemy's warlock uses fell magic against them, but Gul'dan does not buy it as he believes that only he can control fell magic. Durotan begins to doubt the fell. Medivh secretly questions Garona in prison. She explains that the gate is shown to Gul'dan by a demon, then Medivh disappears as other people enter her cell. The queen offers her a drink and a chance to live freely, and empathizes with Garona. Then, Garona, Lothar, and Khadgar go into the woods to spy on the great gate. At night, they exchange their tragic backstories by the campfire and begin to empathize with each other. Garona explains that the green magic needs life like a fire needs wood. All of the orcs are planned to arrive in Azeroth, following the already arrived warband. When Lothar rides ahead to discuss strategies in advance with King Lane, Barona and Khadgar surprisingly meet Durotan, asking them to deliver a message that he wants to meet with the human chieftain. In Stormwind, King Lane gathers with all other races in Azeroth to discuss the threat, but they do not want to help supporting the attack as they are busy with their own lives. Garona delivers Durotan's message to the king. King Lane deduces that Durotan is truly terrified of the fell and he cannot overcome the problem alone, so he asks for help. Although Lothar is against the idea of meeting Durotan, King Lane is convinced by Garona's depiction of Durotan, saying Durotan wants to protect his clan and that the Fell is also his enemy. The Queen gives a blade to Garona to defend herself and to earn her trust. The Guardian is seen at Khadgar's room, dismissing all of Khadgar's research about the Fell and burning all of it. He says he will deal with the Fell himself and Khadgar's help is not needed. Khadgar manages to hide one of the papers of his research in his robe, which is not burned by Medivh. The clue says something about a dark portal and a name, Elodie. Despite the objection of Orgrim, 
one of Durotan's trusted people, Durotan still meets with Lane to unite the Frostwolf clan and the humans against Goldon. But suddenly the group is ambushed by Blackhand, which labels Durotan as a traitor. The humans retreat and Medivh's help comes, even though it is too late. He forms an impenetrable magical barrier to protect the humans from the orc forces, but Kallan and some soldiers are separated by the barrier. Lotar sees Kallan killed by Blackhand, unable to pass through the barrier to save him. Garona and Khadgar find Medivh on top of the cliff, knocked unconscious, and take him to Karatsan to heal. But, Khadgar notices a green light from Medivh's eyes and deduces that he is somehow involved in the fell magic. Khadgar rushes from Karatsan immediately, saying they need the help of Kirin Tor. Durotan is once again threatened by Blackhand but he bargains that he will submit to Gul'dan's plans if Blackhand spares his people. Durotan instructs Draka to leave with their son, who he names Goel. Orgrim speaks with Gul'dan, saying that Durotan has poisoned the whole Frostwolf clan against the green magic. Meanwhile, Khadgar meets with the Kirin Tor, and although they despise him, they allow him to meet with Elodi, a protector entity just like the Guardian. Elodi tells him that Medivh is consumed by the fell magic and cannot control it, then she disappears. Back in Karatsan, Moroz helps Medivh to recover, but Medivh reveals that he is consumed by the fell and drains Moroz's life out of his body. The king is agonizing over his options in the defense position, but Lotar suggests throwing everything they have to close the magic gate and make it the top of their priorities. Medivh suddenly appears, and Lotar expresses his anger at him for indirectly killing his son. King Lane sends Lotar to a cell to calm him down. Garona comes to Lotar at the cell, informing that the king agrees to assault the gate. Lotar tells her that she and other people should not trust Medivh and he prefers Garona stays with him so she would not get hurt, but she refuses. She goes to battle with King Lane and other troops, with Medivh claiming he will join them later because he needs to prepare some things first in Karatsan. Khadgar then arrives at Stormwind and rescues Lotar from his cell. Although Lotar insists on following the king, Khadgar convinces him to stop Medivh so that the whole Azeroth realm stays safe. Draka brings Goel to the river and let the water carry him away, and then she gets killed like the other Frostwolf clan. But King Lane instructs Garona to kill him because it will do no good if they are both dead. By killing the king, Garona earns the respect of the orcs, and is able to carve a way for achieving peace between humans and orcs. Lotar arrives in the middle of the battle and rescues King Lane's body, and helps fight the remaining orcs. After he gets knocked out, he wakes up in the middle of the Makora tradition, organized by Blackhand to duel with him. He is given King Lane's sword as a weapon, and he easily defeats Blackhand with one strike. The orcs respect him although Gul'dan instructs them to kill him, but Garona convinces that if Gul'dan kills Lotar, he is not honoring the sacred tradition and no orc will follow him anymore. Lotar gets away with the king's body after noticing Garona's blade on the king's neck, assuming she is a traitor. During Lane's funeral, all races of Azeroth finally unite and proclaim an alliance against the orcs. They support Lotar as the leader of the alliance. Meanwhile, on the river, Goel is found by humans. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.